All right, ladies and gentlemen, your first debater from Team Country, please welcome Jim Davis! Nagin, you ignorant slut. <laughs> waited 40 years to say that. <laughs> not only will the dogs not die in the country, you can let them run free, and you don't have to clean up after them. And I did grow up with a Muslim farmer. His name was Mohammed Tariq L. Robinson. <laughs> I grew up in Western North Carolina. I moved to New York after college. I've lived here the whole time. I love it, but every day I yearn to return to the country, especially after being on the subway, coming up here, and just standing there like this, and I'm thinking, this is inhuman. Nobody does this where I come from, because there are no subways. And there's none of that. You just you get in the car. And you know, like everything is so fast here and it's just slower there. Like like you ask directions in New York, you say, excuse me, where's the hospital? What are you sick? <laughs> you know, down where I'm from, it's like, excuse me, where's the hospital? Well <laughs> You're gonna get in the car. <laughs> and then you're gonna drive about 45 or 50. How far? <laughs> er. <laughs> How far is he gonna go? <laughs> to the hospital. <laughs> the hospital. <laughs> about 45 minutes down to where the water tower used to be. <laughs> And then you're gonna turn left or right? Pearl! Well, ask your wife. Pearl! When you hurry up, he's bleeding. I don't know what happened to him. What happened to you? He got stabbed. go to the hospital if I were you. <laughs> yes, I was raised in what I was raised in what we would call Merca. <laughs> because we live in two different countries now. We live in America and Merca. <laughs> Things are a lot simpler in America. In America, we welcome your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. In Merca, you ain't from around here, are you? <laughs> In America, we have a thing called the Second Amendment, which means you can own a firearm, but you don't have to have an Uzi and an AK-47 and an AR-15 and a bazooka. In America, yes you do. In America, we have a thing called climate change, which is causing crazy tornadoes that destroy entire cities, like Joplin, Missouri. In America, tornadoes is caused by the government. <laughs> And in America, gay people can get married. In America, don't ram it down my throat. It's always a bad choice of words. Actually, as a sidebar, you know, my, my parents were very country, traditional people. And those of you who are old enough, which is all of you, um, you'll remember that the whole interracial marriage question took the same trajectory that marriage equality took. A lot of people didn't want it back then, you remember? My mother, my mother said to me, don't you marry a black girl. I said, newsflash, I'm not going to marry a girl. <laughs> When you live in the country, you have three things that people who live in a city do not have. A front porch, a backyard, and a crawl space where you can hide the bodies. <laughs> Conversations in the country are funnier than they are here. They're funnier. Like, my father is 92 years old, and he was talking to a guy at his retirement community, and he said, I've planned my funeral, and I've paid for it. And the man said, when is it? <laughs> People
people just refer to, it's, they're just sweeter down there. I'm sorry, I love New York, but they're just nicer. Like, you, you walk, a woman walks into, a southern woman walks into your house and sees something on your coffee table, and she goes, oh, isn't this, darling, where'd you pick this up? <laughs> and a northern woman would go, oh, this is gorgeous, how much you pay for this? <laughs> Um, there are no Whole Foods. <laughs> They're called farms. <laughs> Since rural hospitals are closing in the event of a medical emergency, you'll know right away if you have a chance in hell. <laughs> there are some things you will never hear in the country. This is how we're different. That new, La Triada, that new La Traviata made me want to fucking kill myself. <laughs> There's a devastating op-ed piece in the New York Times on neo-Nazis. <laughs> There's a new sling at the mine shaft. <laughs> I can't wait to see Jared and Ivanka at our Christmas party. <laughs> there are things you will never hear in the city. And you tell me which is better. You decide that. You're the voters. I haven't heard a siren for 30 minutes. <laughs> Did you get the raccoon out of the attic? <laughs> I can't wait to see Jared and Ivanka at our Christmas party. <laughs> In uh, New York, or in a big city, it helps to know a foreign language. In the country, these are the only Spanish phrases that you should even feel obligated to learn. <laughs> Habla usted inglés, which means, do you speak English? Cuanto, which means, how much? Donde puede cambiar este cheque, which is, where can I cash this traveler's check? <laughs> Por favor, envíme un botones para recoger mi equipaje, which is, please send me a boy for my luggage. <laughs> and no hay pedido esto, which is, I didn't order this. Um, you can drive for miles in the country without hitting a deer. Now, why I thought that was funny, I don't know. <laughs> If you want to talk politics, there are loads of senior citizens and diners that CNN always seem to be interviewing. <laughs> Finally, the best thing about living in the country to me is the local cuisine. Applebee's, Olive Garden, McDonald's, Burger King, and then six miles down the road, Applebee's, McDonald's, <laughs> Olive Garden, Burger King. Thank you.